Third round action on Wednesday saw the world's finest tennis players return to the court at the Qatar Total Open. Yesterday's shock early exits from top seeds Angelique Kerber and Simona Halep saw the remaining seeds keen to dominate with their top rivals out of contention. But more top seed casualties were to ensue as fifth seed Petra Vitova was challenged by Latvia's Yelena Ostapenko. Their first meeting was to prove a stormy start for the Czech as she went 3-1 down in the first set. Oof. But it was a short-lived exploit. The match play nerves were to get the better of the 18-year-old. Experience was to prevail as Kvitova put some much-needed urgency into proceedings. The challenge call going in favour of the Czech as she sealed the first 7-5. It'll be a challenge. It is indeed out, which means Petra Kvitova takes the, the set. The second saw a much weightier start for the world number 88. Needs to make sure 15. that she stays close to Kvitova. A loose backhand and the fifth seed dropped her first set of the tournament. And there it is, one hour 25 played. Six and it is games. Yelena Ostapenko who takes the second set by six, six games to two. Just a tenth tour level main draw event, Ostapenko's rapid court coverage left Kvitova stranded in the open court. Oh, Graham Ostapenko. Great get from Yelena Ostapenko to consolidate her break. Double break for the Latvian and an impressive comeback saw her serve out the biggest win of her career to advance to her first WTA Premier quarter final. What a win! But it is the Latvian, the 18 year old, who marches on 5 7, 6 2, 6 1. I'm really happy uh, to win today. We had like a great match. I know that all the players here, they, they play really amazing and especially Petra, she is a great champion and that I have to play till the end because everything can happen, like the, the score can turn uh, another way. Carla Suarez Navarro opened up proceedings on Wednesday as she overhauled 11 seed Timia Bashinsky. In just under an hour and a half, the straight sets victory saw the Spaniard through to her second quarter-final appearance at the Qatar Total Open. Game, set match, Suarez Navarro. The evening session saw the highest remaining player in the draw, Agnieszka Radvanska, take on the world number 37, Monica Nicolescu. It's not often that Agnieszka Radvanska is athletically outplayed by an opponent, but Nicolescu certainly stretched the boundaries early on. Brilliant. Superb play from Nicolescu there. Wasn't it? It was very good anticipation. 13, and how quick 15. was she to get across? And that was important. But like for like, an immediately stylish response from Radvanska saw her cushion the gap. Oh, game, she's got her again. Some of the best of Agnieszka Radvanska in that game. She saves a couple of break points. She reduces the Your deficit a little further. A break back in the seventh game saw Radvanska effortlessly toying with the Romanian, taking the first set to 7 5. Terrific. Because Agnieszka Ravanska from 4 1 double breakdown responds and takes the set. More impressive court dexterity from the world number three gave her strong momentum in the second. Oh, there's one for the highlight reel. There always seems to be with Agnieszka Ravanska. A questionable inside out backhand left Nicolescu privy to the open court. Oh, she's made it. Nikolescu didn't do a massive amount wrong. Yes. An hour and 40 minutes saw Advanska through to her sixth quarter-final in Qatar and third consecutive of the year. It is all over. She does love playing here. She's never been to the final before. She's the highest seed left. She's avoided an upset here. I was very, very happy, especially after my comeback in that first set. Um, that was very tough and she definitely pushed me 100% uh, today. Second seed Garbina Mogarutha also progressed to the quarterfinals. A straight sets win over Timia Babosh confidently marks her territory back on the tour. Roberta Vinci was a player who flirted dangerously with defeat as she faced qualifier Sharla Buyakachai. The Turkish wildcard knocked out defending champion Lucy Safarova yesterday and her impressive form continued early on. Better. But there was no denying Vinci's notorious backhand slice to begin the upset. 
<laughs> yeah, Vinci. This is too good for Vinci, who Four breaks uh, the first opportunity. Nine lives weren't needed from a generous courtside intruder for Vinci, though, as the first set was sealed 7-5. Yeah. That was a bit of a shorter Another point, set. much Vinci. to the delight of Roberto Vinci, Seven who five. takes the points and the set. A consecutive run of breaks secured the Italians' progression to the quarterfinals for the yeah. third time Seven this match. year. Vinci. A great start to 2016, a pump of the fist six, says it all. Tomorrow's quarterfinal action sees Simona Halep and Eugenie Bouchard's victor, Shai Shai Zheng, take on Yelena Ostapenko. While Spaniards Carla Suarez Navarro and Garbina Magarutha search for a place in the semi finals. And St. Petersburg champion Roberta Vinci will take on the Shenzhen champion Agnieszka Radvanska in the 2016 Qatar quarterfinals.